up being self-defense going. You know, this is just one example of why. I can use this, it comes around, I clip, and right now, all my hands are involved. At this point, I put it in my thumb, and now me, I'm pulling away, but this hand is doing the work. The hand that he can't get his hand on, kind of like the tail of a scorpion. It's tighter and tighter. So I think the viewers need to know that this is put into the garment, and it acts as a pulley system. The other piece is I have both hands under his arms. That would be a, a, a low seat belt. This is a cross seat belt, and it's like this. I have one arm under, one hand over. All I'm gonna do is simply take the time to pull this completely up, and I put it between the two of us. After it's between the two of us, he's holding me, I'm pushing, and that gets him to let go. If I wanna stay in control of him, I go get it with my other hand, and now I'll just explain how this works. You can see the rope is here, it's already around his neck, and I start the pull. That's causing him to let go, and this hand is straight. Shrug him off, and I'm completely behind him. If I need pressure, I push this way, and that causes the rope to tighten. All right, let's take a look at this.